Hey everybody, welcome to your beautiful table. Today I have five home fragrance candles just for Dan Levy's star of television's Shit's Creek. Thanks everybody for coming on back. If you're new to the channel, Your Beautiful Table is a YouTube channel and a website at yourbeautifultable.com all about helping you make your tabletops beautiful. We talk about china, glassware, table linens, tabletop decor, tablescapes, flowers, candles, and home fragrance. So if you like that kind of stuff, you should consider subscribing. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to learn how you can win some free candle stuff. I've been excited to bring this video to you. Uh, I have uh, been working on it for a while. I'm a big fan of Schitt's Creek, which is a television show that stars Dan Levy. And I have a big crush on Dan, uh, which if you've seen the show, you know why. It's just like dynamic and funny characters, really uh, uh, smart, smart, smart. To give you a synopsis of the show, so it's a Canadian show. Uh, Dan and the cast, I think, just about are all Canadian, and it's filmed in Canada, but it's on Netflix. So if you have Netflix, you can uh, watch Shit's Creek, and it's S-C-H-I-T-T-S -T -T Creek. So Shit's Creek is after someone's name, uh, which is the name of a town. So Dan and his family were a wealthy family that owned video stores, and they got bad financial advice. A financial advisor cheated them out of their fortune, and they found themselves in a small town where they owned a motel, and the town is called Shit's Creek. And so it's... Um, it's sort of a riches to rags story, and they find themselves living in these two rooms in this motel. It's sort of like the Kardashians if they lost all their money and you followed them in a reality series where they leave their high-profile lifestyle and go into obscurity and find themselves in a motel in the middle of nowhere in a small town, and they don't have any money. So it's been really fun to watch the characters develop over the past couple of seasons. They've uh, developed empathy and humanity and sort of just express like decent human values, which has been uh, fun to watch. So if you haven't checked out Shit's Creek, be sure to check it out. So you can go ahead and watch the previous um, previous seasons. They're coming out with their final season here in the next couple weeks. I'm really excited. So recently, because of all the hype around the show, Dan Levy, who was both the showrunner, a co-writer, a co-producer with his dad, Eugene Levy, and stars in the show, I mean, like all wearing all those hats, was recently interviewed by Vogue. Vogue does this really fun series where it, they ask 73 questions of particular celebrities and stars, people in fashion. They go to their house or to a place where they hang out and you get to see in one take the star respond to the 73 questions. And so Dan recently, Dan Levy recently did the 73 question interview by uh, from Vogue and I'll put a link to that uh, below. It's a great, great interview. You get to see Dan in his house, and you get to see his dog, who is super cute. So it's totally worth watching in just a, a, a few minutes. But in the interview, the interviewer asks, what is your favorite scent? And Dan replies, uh, anything woody, like burnt wood, like a cedar or a pine, something ooty. Well, of course, y'all, I can share with Dan five home fragrance candles that will meet those um, sort of specific profile. And I've got five that he probably will like and that you might like too. Now, I took a highbrow approach to this. You know, it's not all the time that um, stars of television are looking for a home fragrance scent. So I went for quality and prestige. And there's one in there that's really budget friendly. So if you're looking for a prestige luxury candle, that smells a little bit ooty, a little bit woody, a little bit smoky. These are some that you're really gonna like. So I've got five, so hang in there with me. So of course we can help. And the first one that I would recommend for Dan, and I'll put images in the video as I talk about them, is Diptyque's Photobois candle. This is the quintessential fireside candle. Translated from French, Photobois means wood fire or fire of wood. And it smells like a very luxury, campfire honestly so it smells like um that relaxing 
wood fire, but it has this incense that keeps it from getting too like you, um, you know, you're, you've gone to a campfire and you come in and your clothes still smell like the fire. It doesn't quite smell like that, but it definitely has that smoky, woody smell, but it's also got a sweet incense component that makes it one of Diptyque's most popular candles for a reason. What you can see probably in the picture now is that the Diptyque candles come in these small glass jars. They've got, uh, their labels are in French because it's a French product. And uh, this photo block candle comes in a gray smoky color that's sort of an olive gray. So the, the candle is phenomenal. I've burned it. I'll link to a, a YouTube review that I made of it myself. And so definitely perfect for Dan Levy and uh, Diptyque Photo Bois. You can find it at Nordstrom Neiman Marcus. Um, you can find it online. And so I'll put a link to it below. If you're looking for a luxury candle that meets all those requirements of burnt wood, cedar, piney, oody, that's one to check out. Now, probably the most expensive candle that we're going to share with you today in this roundup is Tom Ford's Oud Wood Candle. So this candle runs about $230. So it's definitely a primo, primo luxury candle. It's a unique experience. So those of you who are looking to really treat yourself or to treat somebody that you love, or if you're out there looking for a birthday present or a gift for Dan Levy, buy him Tom Ford's Oud Wood because he... Dan said, oud wood, so burnt wood. So um, this one has a description. It's a classic Tom Ford fragrance that has been realized in this candle. Uh, I've smelled it myself. I haven't bought this candle. It is a big splurge, but I've smelled it in store. You know, go hang out at Neiman Marcus and, and smell that candle. It's phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. And it uh, rings true to the oud wood cologne or perfume um, that Tom Ford produces. So the notes in that candle are, of course, oud wood, which is a really expensive fragrance, then rosewood and cardamom, which add this uh, sort of spicy aspect and help to balance the oud wood, and then they have uh, essences of sandalwood and vetiver, so very masculine fragrances, and it's balanced with a base of tonka bean and amber, so overall a really rich oody, woody, lovely fragrance, totally meets the requirements that Dan was talking about. So Tom Ford's Oud Wood is a candle we'd recommend for Dan. Now our third recommendation is probably, is still in that luxury brand, but many of you who have uh, watched the YouTube channel and have commented um, previously love this, and it is Nest Fragrances Birchwood Pine. So Dan comes from a blended household, so Dan Levy's uh, dad, Eugene Levy, is Jewish, and Dan's mother is Protestant, and so they celebrate both the Jewish traditions, like Hanukkah in the uh, wintertime, and Christmas, and so even though Ness Birchwood Pine is really a holiday sort of Christmas fragrance and is packaged as such, it's something that Dan, I think, can get behind. Those of you who are familiar with it, leave comments below and tell us about it, but it is a winter forest scent that has um, balsam and pine with that birchwood. And people rave and say that it is their favorite, favorite holiday scent. Of course, it comes in this beautiful, beautiful package that Nest is known for. It's a clear glass votive with um, starbursts of gold around the package. The candle box itself has those starbursts on the outside with red flocked ribbons, so it almost looks like it's wrapped. It makes it beautiful for gift giving. You can place it also in any home decor. It doesn't have to be modern, but it will slip right into any holiday decor. Mix it in with your evergreens and pines, and you've got a great holiday candle. So if Dan Levy were to do a holiday candle looking for those woody um, pine notes, the Nest Fragrances Birchwood Pine would be right up there, one of our recommendations. Now, friends, you know, um, Dan Levy lives in California, and we're going to shift now from the deep, deep sort of rich, woody oodies and to a little bit lighter fragrance. And so I would recommend Joe Malone's, um, uh, oh my gosh, Joe Malone's Wood Sage. I couldn't read my handwriting. Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt Candle. So, um, jo Malone is also available at Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom. Definitely a luxury candle brand. They have very simple packaging. I'll put a picture of the packaging and the presentation of the candle. It has a chrome top lid, plain glass votive with a nice basic label on there. Now, the reason why I put this one in is because you may want to have a lighter fragrance or Dan may want to have a lighter fragrance. So the sea salt 
goes to that California cliffside Malibu kind of experience. It has this mineral essence that comes from sort of a soil, soil or um, earthiness uh, in the mineral and uh, with the sea salt spray. So it's the freshness of the sea salt, the sort of rejuvenation of that coastal kind of feeling, go to California, the mineral, and then the earthy woodiness of the uh, wood sage. And so it combines sort of a, that natural element of the greens from the sage and the sea salt and sea spray. So this is one that I think we could branch out a little bit, might be one to enjoy during spring and summer, whereas those oody piney fragrances may be something that um, Dan would wanna enjoy at a different time when it's like more winter or fall. Okay, and finally, <clears throat> our budget-friendly candle choice is Trap Candles Teak and Oud Wood. So this is a phenomenal candle. I love Trap Candles. It's uh, at a $30 price point, was completely reasonable. Um, this has those scents that Dan was talking about, the woody, oud wood antique so let me share with you those those fragrant notes Word. it has a complex scent of that teak and oud wood so you know if you're not wanting to splurge at like 230 dollars for the tom ford oud wood you can do the trap candle teak and oud wood and get many of the same uh, fragrance notes <clears throat> this one uh, is balanced with madagascar vanilla tonka bean which it shows up in the tom ford fragrance and then also um it creates this smooth but spicy aroma. So you get the spice from the oud wood antique and the smoothness of the vanilla, which helps to balance and create a, a wonderful fragrance. And of course, trap candles are widely available. Uh, I found them recently at a local boutique on sale. You can also find them online. So overall, just to recap, our five uh, home fragrance candle picks for Dan Levy, star of Schitt's Creek, are the Diptyque Photobois Candle, Tom Ford Oud Wood, that's our second one. The third one is the holiday uh, choice, which is Nest Birchwood Pine. Finally, a little departure to go with the California feel is Joe Malone's uh, Wood Sage and Sea Salt Candle. And then finally, our budget-friendly approach is the Trap Candle Teak and Oud Wood. So overall, five really great choices. Friends, I've been burning Lafco's um, uh, Bedivere Candle here in the back. And I'm really enjoying it. So that might be another candle that I would add uh, to the mix. So I'll be sharing the review of this one. So hopefully, friends, you've enjoyed this uh, recap of five candles I'd recommend for Dan Levy. Dan, if you're out there, give me a call. I can send one to you. Happy to do that. Um, now, talking about candle giveaways. So we have a newsletter for your beautiful table. The subscription box or the subscription link is below in the description of Let's see, the sign up is below in the description box, so you can sign up for the newsletter. Once we hit different milestones for the blog and the YouTube channel, I do a drawing. And so our most recent one was for our 100th subscriber here on the YouTube channel, and Melissa was the person that I drew. I use um, MailChimp to keep your email addresses safe and for compliance. And so then I use a random number generator. It spits out a number. I find the person in our mailing list at that number and I reach out to you and say, hey, you've won free candle stuff. So be sure the email address that you provide is one that you actually use. Every once in a while I send out uh, newsletters using that uh, email address about once a week or so. Just keep you in touch on things that are happening on the YouTube side, on the blog, and just things that I'm thinking about overall. So it's a great way to keep in touch and you get a chance to win free candle stuff. So thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time on your beautiful table.